This is not the news, and I'm G, your host. We got some news for you tonight, today, tonight. Yeah, we, we go far out of our ways to get the news for you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I won't get that sucker yet. Okay, I told you we go out of our way to get the news. All right, here we go. We got some news right here. Let's see if we can get the news right here. Yes, this is one way to get your news. Right here. All right. Come on, get out of there. Okay. What we got here? The woolly mammoth. Do you remember them? No, nah, no, nah, you don't. 300,000 years ago, you might have remembered, but you weren't born by that time. So there's a several companies in the United States is trying to bring back, they get some DNA from the, the ones they found that are dead, been dead, you know, many hundreds of thousands of years. So we get the DNA from them, they're trying to uh, bring back the woolly mammoth. It's like they don't have enough now what's going on. So at 11 foot at their shoulders, that's how tall they are, 11 foot and six tons. That's uh, uh, 12,000 pounds. <laughs> and now, uh, they started disappearing 11,000 years ago. That's just right around the corner, you know that. Now, can you imagine one of those things got grown up and got loose and there's a movie premiere going on in Hollywood? Can you imagine all these actors and actresses out there? They're, they're grabbing their phones and saying, oh, I want a selfie with a woolly mammoth. <laughs> and they're getting trampled to death. Moving on. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got, oh, here we go. In South Africa, there's these two boxers down there beating the crap out of each other. And it, don't ask me to pronounce their names because this was named blah, 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 and this was named blah, 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 blah. <laughs> They're still hitting. And one of them knocked the heck out of one of them and knocked him between the ropes. He's almost in the audience. And the referee's helping back in. So while the referee's helping back in, the other guy's walking around the boxing ring doing like this, and the, and the referee stands up, and, and the boxer starts chasing the referee, swinging at him. I said, oh, shit, this is not good. This is not good. So right there, that's a sign. If your relationship is in the ropes and it's not going good, give it a second or two. It may change. <laughs> <laughs> More news. Now we're fixing to talk about a man that, that uh, you may know who he is, may not, but you've seen his trucks, the Penske rental trucks. This man's rich, 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 rich. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What we got here? Okay, Roger Penske. Okay. He's been racing... Uh, Indy 500 cars for many years, and so he's gotten up, he, he got the cobwebs off of some of his money and decides to buy the Indy 500 racetrack in Indianapolis. $250 million. That's a lot of money. So that was about last year. And then he put another 30 million into it to modify it the way he likes it, the way, the way it should be. I dusted off some of my money. I bought some uh, Spanish lessons. Three months later, went to a Mex Mexican restaurant. I ordered dos cervezas. That was my limit right there. So, <laughs> cobwebs or no cobwebs, deal with it. You know what? You know what? It's that time. It's that time. Read my lips. Meow. Yeah.